what it is, everybody. Thanks for tuning back here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. You guys asked for another video about this car. Y'all seem to love this car, and I'm going to go into it. It's going to be a little bit of a nerdy video here, and it's definitely going to be a review of how, how I was able to do this. Because I like to do unorthodox things a little bit and push the envelope, especially with pump gas. Y'all liked it when I did that on the uh, Camaro, when I was able to make a 1,000 horsepower on the uh, Camaro. Of course, I just made another video as you guys saw about the GT500, and we were able to make a thousand horsepower with that on 93, no mess, no race gas or anything like that. But again, it's pretty tough to do on 93 period. But the Ford motor, by it being a dual overhead cam engine versus a push rod engine in a Chevy engine, is just the characteristics of how the power is made just a little bit different. But we're not talking about a thousand horsepower here. We're talking about a car that's, you know, almost 20 years old and pushing the envelope pretty far. So let's get right into it. Here is my 2010 Corvette ZR1. She is my baby. This is my dream Corvette. It has been my dream Corvette for the long time. As you guys know, I still have Snow White. I still have the Z06. But I've always wanted this car from the first time that I saw it. I always wanted it. Let's go over and open the hood and I'll tell you a little bit about it and kind of the modifications and stuff that I dig with it. So, it's all stock. I ain't do shit. No, nah, I'm kidding. So, we got some uh, gangster headers on here. We got some American Racing 2-inch primary headers to a 3-inch collector. Uh, we got Excel wires, uh, plugs. I uh, haven't put my uh, BR plugs in it, but I just have uh, Iridium's TR7s in it at the moment. I hooked up with my boys up there at Lingen Filter. We got a ported snout on the blower. Not the blower being ported, just the ported snout. Uh, I had their uh, two six pulley on it, and it uh, now it has a two one pulley or two three. I can't remember, but it's th the smaller uh, pulley. Stock lower, uh, upgraded intercoolers, uh, ported snouts, Lingen filters intake, and a few other goodies as long to go along with it. Uh, tips and stuff that I you know things that I've done, uh, like remove thermostats and and stuff like that, and it works pretty good here. Again, for the ones that say it doesn't work, it does work. Remember, I live in Florida, so things are a little bit different. The way this car is set up, it's really set up always to be in warm climate. Where I go, where I used to live in the north, where I used to live up there, probably wouldn't work too well up there. But anyway, so let's jump to it. So the final numbers and the goal and stuff like that with this car. The car came factory with 638 horsepower at the crank. And I want to say like 580 or 590 uh at the crank as well now again back in the day almost 20 years ago that was crazy power when this car came out there's nothing in the world that could even touch this car well i wanted to push the envelope everybody really has done different things with the car and push we know you can make big power with the cam this car does not have a camshaft this car says the factory camshaft and the in factory everything behind it and it has worked great well bolt-ons we've seen people get you know 600 625 and stuff like that and then you can really get into the 700s obviously with the cam and spinning the blower pretty hard perfect cool all right that works great that works you know makes perfect sense when you got the the uh, lift and duration to get to it well that's not what i wanted to do i wanted to see if i could take it from 638 crank to 700 wheel no mess no e no race gas nothing stock cam 93 octane now for the people that know anything about tuning you know how hard that has got to be without melting a piston not just do it one time on the dyno you got to have it run and go because one time in a holy you know holy pass on the dyno that don't mean shit to me it's got to stay together well I did it. My final numbers were 701 and 750, 755, 750, it was 750 something torque. The torque was really up there. Uh, cylinder pressure, obviously, because factory cam. Now, it still drives perfectly fine. It's on, I think, right at about 15.2, 15.5 pounds of boost or so. And for all the people that tune and stuff, no, these are, again, I don't really give out a lot of tuning information on my channel, but. I am now for this car. Uh, you know, you don't really want to hit that 15 pounds. If you want to stay at the 12, 13 pounds of boost, you know, roughly, you know, general consumption, depending on some other setups and things like that, when you're on that pump gas. Pump gas will only take you so far. You just run out of octane. 
and it's also inconsistent. So when you tune and you're on max effort on pump gas, you may not get that same, you know, chemical formula out of the next pump, which could cost you a motor. It's not like when you're pumping it out of the VP tank and it's always consistent when you're using nitromethane, methanol, you know, MS-109, you know, uh, Ignite E90, whatever it is, absolutely not. This is pump gas. So you gotta kind of scale it back and tune it a little bit like that. But other than that, she runs great. Uh, the car doesn't overheat or anything like that. And uh, I wanted to share this kind of build with you and I really did hit my goal with it uh I, with whoever supplied all the parts that's who i wanted to talk to you guys about these are all 100 percent lingen filter parts that i did this i teamed up with lingen filter to do this and i wanted to share with you guys and it's pretty cool that when you look at it i mean for some that know the zr1s but for the most part this joker looks pretty factory huh but everything's good everything's great one day we'll take it to the track i will do it on these tires my michelins i'm not going to change them later on then down the road we'll put a set of drag radios or something on it and we're going to see i'm going to try and see if i can cook with these tires meaning the factory tires not the ones from 2010 they've been replaced but see what these factory tires are. see if i can get this car into the nines when driving it um so it'll be really close i have no question that it is a nine second car but just to get it into the nines with those is definitely going to be tough but i wanted to sh make this video and share with you i'll sh roll in a couple clips of it kind of speeding through the gears this joker picks up pretty quick and uh we'll see you for some more episodes here and more content on this car soon enough on the speedbug channel peace out